Hello and welcome back to my channel if you're a returning viewer and if you're new here my name is Hannah and today I'm working in my art journal and I'm working on this quirky colorful sheep landscape. I am working in my A4 Moleskin sketchbook which I use for my art journal and in this sketchbook I mostly work with acrylic paints sometimes with gouache or other mixed media, Posca pens, sometimes even collage but today it's just acrylic paints mostly and acrylic markers. I've picked up three colours that I've recently enjoyed using a lot <laughs> and it's Greenish Yellow by Royal Talents. I'm also using Neon Pink by Hobbycraft and I'm using Paints Grey by the Bio Studio and I apply them in random dots on my page and then I use my brush and an old key card to spread the paint and create a background. I'm using this old key card to create textures in the background and also some scratches. You will see me making them very soon. And I've learned this trick from Iris Impressions Art. You will find a link to her channel in the description box below. Box below. But also you should be able to see a link, in video link on the top somewhere. And she actually uses the old key cut to create the entire paintings and I think it's quite exciting because you never know what kind of end result you will end up with. Here I'm trying to soften the background a little bit and I'm applying a thin layer of gesso. My background is dry which means the gesso will not really mix with the colours uh, below and I think it will help to create a little bit more cohesive look. This background was very very busy but I did like the colours. I think applying that white on top will soften everything up a little bit and it will just make it more pleasant to look at. Here I'm back with a paintbrush and my greenish yellow to create some rolling hills. This was uh, an idea really from the very beginning. I felt like doing a landscape, not in a very landscape colours. I wanted to play with my acrylic paints and I have been in love with this colour by Royal Talents from the very first time I laid my eyes on it. So this uh, bottom page will be my rolling hills and I've dried my paint with the heat gun and then I'm using my non-dominant hand to create those hills, the edges of those hills. I'm using Stabilo Oil Pencil to create the outlines of the hills and now you can see I put my ugly mat under my sketchbook and I'm spraying my lines with water and just look how beautifully this pencil activates and runs. I'm dabbing off the excess of the water and here I'm using my white gesso on a toothbrush to create movement in the air and something that will resemble clouds. Thank you. 
here I'm using my very old and not very good paintbrush and with this big fluffy brush I'm creating some trees and some bushes. I wanted to add more paint to my page using this card and by doing this I discovered something cool, a very cool effect. I've discovered that if I scratch my loyalty card, my plastic card, on top of that just applied paint grey, I can actually remove some of it and I can make my background show through and by this way I'm also creating this nice branch and tree trunks effect and I think it was one of my favorite parts of doing this art journal spread. Discovering this technique and having all those bright colors coming through that paint spray. I'm making my shape with just a plain white acrylic paint and I will be using different sizes of black Posca pens to make the heads, the legs and the little tails. I felt like this page needed a pop of bright colour so I'm using this neon pink acrylic ink and I'm creating an impression of flowers and a meadow. And time to add some fences and for this I'm again using my black Posca pen. So this is the finished spread and since then I've actually created this on my iPad as a digital drawing and I'm in the process of making those paintings as a set of postcards for my Etsy shop. So keep an eye out on for that. And also I've created a set of three little paintings on canvas that will be appearing in my Etsy shop soon as well. For now, thank you for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video and I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you and bye bye.